What's going on, guys? Happy Thanksgiving. Wanted to send you a little bit of holiday love so that when the holidays are over and you're back out there approaching, that you've got something new to work with. Now, the reason I chose this particular topic today, which I'll tell you what it is in a second, but the reason I chose it was because I noticed that when I started to do this thing, dates and numbers started to become a natural byproduct of doing it effectively. And what this thing is, is called creating a bubble or creating a connection. Now, I know I've got a lot of topics covering connection because I can't harp on it enough. Because guys are going out, but they're avoiding the one thing that works, and that's emotional connection. When you do this effectively, connecting, creating a bubble, you don't have to play games over text. You don't have to play games in the moment. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Going on dates, having a woman respond to your text becomes a natural byproduct of connecting and creating a bubble. So let's go ahead and talk about it. But first, I got a Black Friday offer for you guys. Check it out. Black Friday is here. So I'm offering discounts on both my 30 Days to Approaching Freedom online consistency and accountability program as well as my three-day in-person approaching workshop which both have model work in it. So if you're ready to take the step to change the way that you relate to women and get undeniable results, let's chat. Hit the link in the description below to set up a time to chat with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'd like to know where you currently are in your dating life and where you wanna be in the next one to two months. So hit the link, plug a date on my calendar. I look forward to speaking with you, peace. So I'm going to start this off with a story so that you guys can kind of see where I'm taking this. So one day I was out and I was approaching intentionally, meaning that I was out there doing stops. I was running drills. I was trying to get myself grounded, get myself relaxed. Because when I started off that day, I was having uh, a lot of tightness in my body, a lot of resistance towards stopping just regular the average person, not even trying to create attraction. And at some point I had to go to my car and get some lunch. And so I went to my car, got lunch on my way back from my car. I see this lady coming up the stairs in the parking lot. This girl's gorgeous. Like, to me, she was a 10 on the scale if I had to place her anywhere. And I remember saying hi to her. She said hi back. She was very friendly. And we kept walking. And I stopped and I said, damn, I've got to go and stop her. And so I did. I turned around. I chased her down a little bit. She hadn't gotten that far. And I stopped her. I gave her a compliment. And I said, hey, I thought you were very beautiful. And I just wanted to come meet you. And she lit up and she was like, oh, thank you, right? You know what we get. And then we just started to chat until it got into a flow. So during this whole flow, we're just very connected through the eye contact. And I remember feeling a bunch of feelings in this particular moment. Feelings of nervousness, feelings of self-judgment. Also, a lot of feelings of pleasure, a lot of feelings of arousal even just like heart arousal right when you're connecting with the person and your heart starts to open up like i started to feel that and we had this conversation that lasted probably about 10 minutes but it felt like it lasted 20 or 30 minutes but the whole time i was talking to her i couldn't help but notice that she would not break the eye contact with me like she was right there she was enjoying it just as much as i was enjoying it and we were talking about just real mundane stuff what do you do for work? How's life? What are you into? Basic stuff. But because we were so connected and there was literally this bubble, meaning that we were so tightly connected through the eye contact, if anybody had come at that particular moment and saw us, they would have been like, wow, like there's a connection happening. But also, we probably wouldn't have even noticed them because we were just so locked in. And so we're chatting it up. Emotions are being felt. I'm feeling turned on. The heart's turned on. I can feel her too. And it's just going so well. So we get to the end of the conversation and then we exchange contacts. Now, up until that point, it had always been an issue with getting the contact from a girl. Like, I had all, it had always been a big deal. Like, okay, the conversation is coming to a close. I know I have to ask for a number now. It always just felt a little weird to me, right? And it was always because I had some insecurity around it. But for the first time ever, I knew that in this conversation that it was going to lead to a phone number and it was going to lead to meeting up in person. 
Like there was zero doubt whatsoever. And it did. We exchanged contacts. We hung out the next day. I've got a whole great story about how she took me to her house and how I completely, uh, all these sexual advances just went over my head and I screwed it up basically. But that's not the point. The point is the interaction. The point was the approach. The point was during that interaction with her, the connection felt so strong. And since that interaction, I've had so many connections like that, that I don't even play around and do it any other way because I know that doing it this way is the effective way that's going to get you the result. So what way is that? It's the slowing down, creating the bubble. The bubble is essential. I see guys walk up to girls and they completely rush through the interaction. And I'm not saying that they're bad because they do that because they're not aware, right? Especially when the nerves get the best view, they've got you kind of racing not wanting to feel all the emotions that are in the tension of the moment. I understand that. I've been there. I know what that's like. What you want to do is you want to get to a place where you can connect through the eyes and feel all the tension that comes with that. Feel all the emotions in the body that are being stirred up. And don't get reactive to it. Embrace it. Embrace the weirdness of it all. Right? Embrace the... Embrace how awkward it feels to be feeling the whole lot while you're connected with somebody. Because ultimately, those emotions that you're feeling are going to be the thing that you need in order to relate to somebody else. In order to allow a woman to feel you versus hearing you say something that doesn't have any emotional depth to it. Because women are always seeking emotional depth. Is this guy real? How real is this guy? And the guy who can connect and feel his emotions is the guy who's real. Now, I just want to tell you guys that you can create this type of connection anywhere. You can do it in the grocery stores. You can do it at the market. You can do it in line at a grocery store. You can do it anywhere. You can do it at the gym. It all comes down to your willingness. Now, a lot of people are scared to approach women in the grocery store. They're scared to be seen approaching a woman in line terrified to be approaching approaching women at the gym i got a guy right now in my 30-day program who solely is talking to women at the gym only he's having really great results with that i've had really great results at the gym but um i noticed that guys will be like oh i'm not doing that that's creepy it's like okay cool then don't do it that's not for you let somebody else do it who feels confident in doing that or who has the willingness to do it because the sky's the limit you can have whatever you want if you're willing to step into the tension of it Now, I say all that to say this. You can do this anywhere. I did it literally in a parking lot (laughs) where cars are passing, coming in, coming out. What you're looking for, essentially, is when you're stopping women, when you're walking up talking to them, what you're looking for is the eye contact. Now, I don't mean creepy and and try to, you know, you're trying to get in their space and you're really trying to put that eye in there. Now, don't be doing weird stuff like that. You want to slow it down. And you want to find a nice medium of eye contact. Something that feels good to you. Something that makes you feel something in your body. Don't try to force it. Don't try to press eye contact. If anything, look at the person that you're looking at and receive her. Take her in as she's talking to you. As she's literally talking to you, look at her. Like, really look at her. Because a lot of people are not looking. A lot of people are in their head thinking about the next thing to say. They're just not tapped in and they're not present. So all we're looking for is presence. Now, if you can really look at a woman and take her in as she's talking to you, you notice that as she's talking to you, she's feeling you feel your emotions by what she's saying and vice versa. And if you're really connected to her as you're talking to her, she's also feeling her emotions as you're talking. And you notice as you guys are doing this back and forth, back and forth, there becomes this kind of emotional buildup. And that's what you want. That emotional buildup is the tension of connection. Because you can't have connection without tension. There needs to be tension there. Especially if it's attraction or sexual. Right? Or you're trying to lead it in that direction. There needs to be a level of sexual tension. If there's no tension in the connection, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to come off very friendly, very platonic. And you're probably going to get very frustrated if you keep running into these very platonic, friendly conversations. I guarantee you. It will, it will annoy you to the point that you don't even want to go do it again. So 
I'm always enjoying the tension. I'm always looking for the tension. Have the whole conversation from a place of tension. And don't break it. This is the number one thing guys do is they break the tension because they start feeling uncomfortable in their bodies. The women can handle it. It's the men who can't handle it. Start to enjoy the tension in your body from the moment you start the conversation to the moment the conversation ends. Well, cool. Give me your number. Keep that eye contact. Put the number on your phone. She's going to remember this interaction because you were so locked in with her because you had her in this bubble and she felt so much hanging around you that she's going to want to see you again. She's going to remember you so much. She's not going to remember you so much if you walk up and then the first five or ten seconds you ask for the number. She's not. But if you have a lasting connection, a lasting emotional connection with her, dude, she's really going to remember you. And when you go to text her, she's going to text you back. And when you go to try to get her to meet up, she's going to respond to that. She's going to meet up with you. If you're having trouble getting women to meet up on dates or text you back, it's because you're not creating a bubble. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys get the concept. If you got more questions about it, put it in the comments, and I'll go ahead and clarify if I need or need to make another video about it. But I want you guys to get out there and start having the results that actually stick and last. Anyways, love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.